Hi everyone, today I am in Aldi and I am going to be doing a grocery shop with me and haul. I have a quite a long list and I'm just going to show you kind of what I get and how I shop. I feel a little awkward right now, but that's okay. But we're just going to do our little grocery shopping. I'll get my list out and we'll get started. So I like to look at their bread to see the whole grain and this stuff is and it has whole wheat flour. Dates are not on my list. However, I know being 36 weeks, maybe 37 weeks pregnant when this video goes up, I'm gonna need some. So I'm gonna get those. Those are 4.89. So yes, my list is long, no dates on there. So we're gonna see how our um, budget comes out here. I did want pineapple, some different fruit. Definitely need my avocados, and they're only 89 cents per avocado. That is amazing. The spinach is only $1.19. It's also a wide variety of apples. I do like the Gala. I am not a Red Delicious fan. Um, so I'm gonna go with probably the Gala because Fuji's $3.99. These are little, but they're so good. And I love apples. I've been loving apples lately. Mushrooms are not on my list as well, but hey, I'm gonna get them. And the whole mushrooms are $1.59. Sliced are $1.69. Just take the time to cut them up. And then I'll be getting a couple of cucumbers because they're 59 cents a piece. I do like to shop the perimeters first, like so, get my vegetables and dairy, and then I'll go in the aisles um, just because I like to stay a little bit healthier and that helps keep it that way. And on my list, even I start with my produce on my list first just so it's in order. My sweet potatoes are only 99 cents. They don't look the greatest, but I definitely need some sweet potatoes, so I'm going to pick through these. So Blaze needs some jelly. They have um, these ones for $1.79. These bigger ones, which are 32 ounces for $2.79. This one, I'm not a huge fan of the Concord grape. He doesn't like that either. So I'll most likely go with the bigger strawberry. That's a better price than the orange marmalade as well. I, I don't always stick to my list, as you've noticed. I'm getting these because they're good snacks for school instead of eating junk food. One thing to be aware of at Aldi is they don't always have everything you need. So um, I'm guessing I won't get everything on my list. But I do like to check off my list as I go. So put little check marks beside it or cross it off just so I know what I've got and what I still need. All right, I was going to pick up these cans, but it's 69 cents per can. These are, so that's 4.5 cents per ounce. And this is 5.3 per ounce um, but honestly this is gonna get me more and if you have the time to cook these the instant pot works great this will get you more than those can of beans so yes the cans are more convenient but dry goods work just as well all right this is my favorite aisle I love cereal however um, I'm just gonna get a box of Lay's and a box for myself. And their eggs are only 99 cents. I definitely get them and definitely look at them. And I kind of pull them back to make sure they're not all stuck. And we like our eggs. So I'm getting two dozen. For us, we do not 
drink a whole gallon very quickly. So I'm gonna see about what the half gallons are. A dollar thirty-five because I drink almond milk. And when you're checking expiration dates, see if you can look at one in the back. So this is March 27th. Let's see what this one is. Still March 27th. They don't have any more boxes. So my guess is that's what we're gonna have to go with. Alright, so the LaCroix were four. 29 and we've come to really enjoy these I don't know how you say it Velvia Bold Waters um, so those are like $2.69 if you just get a plain one if you get a mixed one I think they're a little bit more so we really liked these last time um, I think I'm just going to go with the lime that one was good all right, when shopping for yogurt, I get plain whole milk. It's much better for your gut instead of the non-fat. And this is 369, pretty much all the way around. So we like the Greek um, yogurt. So this one has less sugar. Look at that, awesome. And 16 grams of protein. Let me look at this one though, just, just to compare. Yeah, they, they cut the calories, but this is still better for you gut-wise. All right, ketchup. Let me look at the organic and compare here. It just says all organic, and if it's the same as this other one, this one's bigger. It's 38 ounces. Oh, high fructose corn syrup. That is what I do not want. Let's see, did this have it in there? No, so we're going with this. All right, so I gotta check over my list, make sure I got everything. And I think I did, except they didn't have canned coconut milk and they didn't have the right flour I wanted or Brussels sprouts, which is okay. So I think I'm gonna check out. I have a really full cart. Um, yeah, and I think I got everything I needed here. Did want to mention, this whole chicken is $7.44 for the whole thing. Um, price per pound is 95 cents, so that's really cheap. And we just cook a whole chicken and then have that for the whole week, but yeah. So hopefully, hopefully you got some tips while I was out and then I'll just show you the haul when I get home. My total is $69.48. I got my reusable bags. I didn't put the chicken or the flavored drink in there. I'm gonna share my haul. I'm gonna go pretty quick because you saw uh, most of the things that I already had picked up. One thing I did notice on my receipt just now, they charged me for two pineapple and I only got one. And it was, what, $2.29? So I learned my lesson, double check to make sure that they don't double charge you on things because they go so fast that she just was throwing it in. Anyways, um, I have my dairy products over here. I know you saw me get those, just our milks, and then our Greek yogurts, and then we go through a lot of eggs, so got two dozen eggs. Our spinach, like I said, I throw that in our freezer, because $1.19, I can't pass that up. Like Walmart's three bucks for a bag of spinach, so I definitely go all the route there. The romaine, Looks a little brown and peaked. We'll see if it is okay. Um, it just, I don't know. It's iffy sometimes, and that's like $2.29, I think, for that. The sweet potatoes, like you saw me say, they were not the best. I got three little sweet potatoes. Um, I think those were 89 cents a pound. <laughs> so then I decided to go with a butternut squash that was 89 cents a pound, too, and this little guy was uh, $1.66, so that's not too bad, and it's kind of like a sweet potato anyways. Um, like I said, I didn't always stick with what was on my list. I just splurged like three, I think, if you get three extra items that's not on your list, but you know you'll eat anyways, might as well go for it. So I got some mushrooms for $1.69. And then the two cereals I went with, 
This shredded wheat looked really good. I like plain. It has a lot of protein, and I definitely need more protein. This was only $1.39. And then my honey crunch and oat back here was $1.69. So we both like these cereals, and so that's pretty affordable. The less than $2 cereal is just a steal. Let's see. All right, coming over here. I did need some oats. $2.45, I want to say, something like that. I'm going to get the old-fashioned. The bread, we do have half a loaf of bread left. And so I'll stick this in the freezer. And you saw me look at the jellies as well. But this one is nice and large and it's more like the preserves and Blaze really likes that. The Swiss cheese I need for an event on Sunday for our church potluck. So I don't normally buy Swiss cheese, but an all dollar ninety nine is actually truly really good anyways. The Majul dates. I get these or eat at least one of these a day now in my like 36 weeks or so, four weeks less of pregnancy to help with labor. So I'm gonna have these one a day and these are nice and large. And then I got the dry Great Northern Beans. I make a soup out of this. So these are good to have on hand and then I'll just freeze the rest after I cook them up. I did splurge and get blaze of beef ravioli that was only 65 cents. It's a uh, different brand, so he'll have to let me know how that one really is or not. And then I did get the organic kind of tomato uh, ketchup because I did not want the high fructose corn syrup in the other one, and I don't go through it that fast, and I needed a giant thing of it with just two of us. And then we did get some whole wheat spaghetti, which was not on my list. I'm making spaghetti tonight, and I'm just going to use other noodles, but I thought, why not? This is a little bit healthier for you anyways, and a box like this will last us three meals, literally. So and you just have two people you're shopping for. It's very affordable. So total, I did spend $70, I'd say, average, around up. Um, if I would have gotten double charged with that pineapple, I would have only paid $68. But I learned my lesson. I need to look over everything. Anyways, that is my grocery shop with me and haul. I hope this helped you get an idea of how we eat and what we spend and this all of this, oh, I had the chicken, the whole chicken I got too, and then the flavored waters, I didn't show you that. The whole chicken cost seven bucks, but like I said, that will last us like a week of meals. Um, this will last us at least two, a good two weeks, so that is like a two weeks grocery bill. The fresh produce, some of that might turn, but it should be a good week and a half or two weeks. Anyways, give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you're new. I do videos on simple and thrifted living, DIYs, and homemaking. And I'd love to have you join my YouTube community. And again, hope this was beneficial to you just to learn a few tips and tricks about my Aldi shopping. I don't always shop at Aldi. I shop locally too in a little town. But anyways, I hope you have a blessed and wonderful day. And I'll talk with you in my next one. Bye.